we got to defend our home court. This is where we practice, and these are our fans, and we like to put on a show and play hard for them because they come out and support us every home game. Dre, after a solid start, the team led 8-2 to two in the first half. Colgate came back with a 15-2 to two run, but you guys made it a game at the half. What changed late in the first half that got you back in it? Um, Colgate, real good team. They came out, they gave us everything. We won it in the first half, and second half, we picked it up, and at the end of the first half, we had to pick it up defensively and just battle on the boards. Coach really stressed defense a lot. He stressed a lot of toughness, so we have to come out and play hard. If not, straight to the bench. Came this team now goes to four and three overall, perfect here at home. How important is it to establish that home court dominance early in the season? I think it, it's a tough, it's a great feeling. It means a lot to us. We come out, we give our fans a show to watch, and we just got to come out and play hard every time. Coach, we talk about the evolution of the interior game for this team. A number of second chance opportunities here this evening at Akeem Johnson with another outstanding game. How is that benefiting this offense right now? Yeah, Akeem's doing great. He's really getting in the flow now, and he gives us an inside scoring presence. He's able to run in transition and post, and uh, he's effective when he gets the ball inside. He also offensive rebounds, which is important. You look at this offense, but it seems like it's being set up by the defense, forcing turnovers, cutting off passing lanes. Seems like this group now is really in sync. Yeah, well, we have to play that way. You know, I was worried coming into this game, coming off two big conference wins, that we wouldn't be as focused. I don't know if we were or weren't in the first half. They hit shots. They did a good job. But, um, you know, we need to play the same every day. And your point guard tonight, Drake Calloway. Running the offense effectively, 14 points, three rebounds. How pleased are you with his evolution in this system? He's doing great. He's come in and he's done. He's a junior college player. And he's come in and helped us right away. He's a great kid. And, uh, you know, we got good ball handling. We can go small. We really finished the game with him, Justin, I think Ricky, and Akeem Bennett, four guards on the floor. So we want to play like that. We want to get after people. And I think, it, you know, we are turning the ball over too much. But I think in time, hopefully we won't with that type of ball handling. We just got to learn when to go, when not to go. Coach, another long road trip now, seven hours northwest up to yeah. Buffalo. You'll get on the plane. What are the points of emphasis now as you get set for your only MAC opponent of the season uh, at Canisius? Again, you know, you got to keep revving it up every night. We're in a tough stretch. Uh, we got a bunch of games in a short period of time. And, and you know, coming off wins, you can't get complacent. You can't start thinking about the wrong things. You got to stay focused. It's about the team. It's not time for guys to get shots and things like that. So we got to go up there with the same mindset. We have to prove we can win on the road against a MAC team, which is, which is a very good team. And if we can do that, that would really, really show me something about our team. Uh, if not, we got to come back, regroup, and move on. Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll see you Friday in Buffalo. Great. Thanks, Seth. Absolutely. Glenn Breicher, the head coach here at St. Francis College. We're back after this short break.